cleaning room. I'm just filming you guys. You're not pedaling hard enough. I've been trying. Yeah, I can see that. supposed to be pedaling on it well it's a beer biker so it actually looks more like a truck with <laughs> with bar stools with a chain on them. i don't know i don't think they're, they're doing much they look like they're having a good time they just get to drive around kuda drinking beer champagne and actually got snacks and everything on there but um it certainly looks like a good night or a good afternoon i'm sure wherever you guys are it's nice and warm and comfortable and you're enjoying yourself tucked up in in front of the fire but i gotta say i can't imagine that it could be as nice as this look at this i'm sitting right on the beach in semiac at one of my favorite little restaurants gatto gatto and this place look he's asked me to try a pina colada so you know me i'm a bit of a fool for a, for a cold drink and i'll give that a 11 out of 10 for quality control. Hang on, man. Yeah, he gets 11. Seriously, guys. Where would you rather be? Sitting there, watching me, or sitting next to me on a chair here having a drink? This place is still one of the, one of the most beautiful places in the world. Beautiful, clean beach in front of me. There's hundreds of people wandering around. There's a heap of people just casually sitting around. And the ratios are starting to change. I was talking to the manager here just before, and he was saying over the last weekend they had lots and lots of Indonesian tourists come over. You got 100 million people on the island of Java, so that's an incredible high number of people that, that came here over their long weekend. But then last night, all the Indonesians had already gone off and, back, and headed back to work, and they had full occupancy, and they had 90% all Western tourists. So already it's quickly changing. And the number of people that have been on my blogs saying, hey, we're coming over in May, this is gonna be the busy, the beginning of back to normal, hopefully, for Bali. Have a look at that, have a look at that. Look, here we go to Gatto, watching the sunset over the beach, look at that. Motorbikes going past, a bit of music going in the background, and a couple of more of my viewers. How are ya? Murray's the name? Bruce. Bruce? And Louise. Louise. And Louise, and where are you guys from? Brisbane. Brisbane people, oh, well, well done. I believe they came on the first flight out of Brizzy. Uh, uh, that's a good thing to do in Brisbane is get out of there. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, raining. Oh, it's, it's raining all over the place apparently. Yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here having a pina colada and my mate here Bruce is having a beer. I'm having a wine. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell you what, I bet you wish you were us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and my job of uh, quality assurance and, uh, and uh, drink. Uh, is it passed? How's that pina colada? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I think I might need another one. Yeah. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> haven't quite. <laughs> choice. Seriously, no, look. We were just talking about how Bali is. These guys have been over here for a little bit and they've had uh, some, some mixed experiences. And I think that's a very fair thing to talk about because it's not just all beer and skittles, so to speak. Bali is in a state of, of rebuild and, and has gone through a lot, of, a lot of economic disaster. So don't expect it to be quite as amazing as it was. The hospitality industry especially has not been able to fully reheal itself. People that used to run restaurants have now had to abandon the, the place and hotels well, as soon as the the pandemic really hit the hotels got rid of a lot of their restaurant staff because they couldn't afford to feed them and eventually they got rid of all their, all their wait staff and all the rest of the staff because they, they had no one coming in the door who would have imagined it was going to last two years plus and only just starting two and a half years later to get people back in the front door so it's going to take a long time to get the, the staff to, to come back and to uh, to build up well here we go Apparently they heard the, they heard the and call, the call. <laughs> and the next pina colada has just turned up. How good are they going? Oh man! Tell you what, I could I could get used to this. No, seriously, guys. Um, so, what, what advice would you give to someone who's just coming over here? Um, if it's your first time here, you're not going to know any different. But um, yeah. if, if you've been to Bali before, yeah, it's a little slower. There's not as many things open. But I tell you what, it's, it's still it's still it's still beautiful sitting here. It doesn't get much better. Nah. Uh, but a bit of patience, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
The weather, the weather's amazing. The people are nice. There's less yobbos. There's less idiots over here, which is a good thing. Well, not us. Oh, well, besides us, <laughs> there's only us. <laughs> but that you don't get quite as many crazy like drunk Australians at two o'clock in the morning. They've all gone to bed by then. So that's a good thing. Um, I know the government's really worried about this turning back into another sort of Yobbosville because they were actually trying to, at one stage during COVID, they were talking about knocking alcohol out of Bali and making it for more of the upper class tourists and try to take it up an upper notch um, and leave Phuket or something like that for the party town. But you've got to remember that this country is mostly a Muslim based country. So alcohol doesn't feature in, in the Hindu or the, or the Muslim cultures. So there's not a lot of natives or lo local people that, that drink and their political system is not based on how much you can consume and how, how fast your Prime Minister can scull a Darwin stubby. <laughs> so it is a different culture. We're lucky with, that, with, with Bali because as we were just talking about, there's something here for everyone. Whether you want to stay at the top end of town, whether you want to stay right next door to the nightclubs, you'll always find somewhere to go and you'll find beautiful food. You'll find some cheap and nasty food. You'll find some pretty, middle of the road stuff and pretty much any cuisine any taste any opportunity you'll find it right here in bali which is which is what the best thing about bali it's it's a sort of destination that's universal it's what you make of it and it's not always going to be the most ideal place for some people but it's pretty cool so what i reckon you should do is go and jump on uh, on one of those websites that book air flights brush up on your pina colada skills and, uh, and get your ass over here. I'll see you when you get here. Hey, listen, if you see me and I'm walking down the street, just yell out, Mazza! And uh, I'll come over and say hello to you too. Okay, see you later. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Right.